Now see in this uh, problem we have to find the value of this different integral value of this different integral that is integration of cot inverse x from minus pi over 2 to pi over 2 now to do this we need to first of all plot the graph of cot inverse x and get a integer over it so get a integer of cot inverse x so l let me show you how to how we have drawn the graph of this so graph of Gittes integer of cot inverse x see how we have done that this you can see here the red graph red graph is graph of cot inverse x right and now we have to take the greatest integer of this and the procedure the you can see the transformation the steps we apply are like we draw y equal to integer lines in the range wherever cot inverse x exists we draw integer lines for example we draw y equal to 0 line that is x axis y equal to 1 line 2 line 3 line and y equal to 4 will be beyond pi and, and you know cot inverse x cannot be more more than pi it doesn't cross pi line so th there is no need to go beyond this as well as there is no need to go below 0 now next step is after plotting horizontal lines we mark points of intersection between cot inverse x graph red graph and these horizontal lines right and then find the corresponding values of x for example this is uh, intersection between cot inverse x and y equal to one line so to find this point of intersection to find the value of x at this point of intersection we equate graph of cot inverse x and y equal to one line to get the value of x as cot one so this point of intersection is cot one similarly when we solve cot inverse x with y equals to two line cot inverse x equals to two or we can say x equals to cot two this is cot three right so definition change of and then and, and see after that after after uh, finding these points of intersection for now we see this part see between cot 1 to infinity if you look at the graph of cot inverse x its range is it lies between 0 and 1 graph of cot inverse x beyond cot 1 lies between 0 and 1 and you have you have to take a greatest integer over these values this is cot inverse x we have to plot greatest integer of cot inverse x now taking greatest integer applying greatest integer over these values would make these values 0 for example if this is say 0 0.75 and we take a greatest integer of that it becomes 0 so basically when we apply greatest integer over this part this part will fall down and and come come at x axis so all these for all these values graph is 0 so basically we have take the projection of this graph on horizontal line below the graph or punch this graph on k line below the graph same here if you see this section if you apply greatest integer all these values will fall on k line below that is this line same here we have to punch we have to take projection of this on horizontal line below because all these values are between 2 and 3 between 2 and 3 you can see here all these values if you take greatest integer they will become 2 and same here now so this is blue one you can see is the graph of greatest integer uh, of cos co cot inverse x greatest integer of cot inverse x now we have to find area we have to find different integral and you know different integral and area bounded both are equal if the graph is positive the both are equal you know this formula if fx is greater than 0 positive then a to b fx dx represents area bounded by fx x axis and x equal to and x equal to p line so instead of finding the value of the different integral we can find the area bounded or or we can even find the different integral both are equal so it's up to you which approach you want to follow but the more important thing here is at this stage is to see where is minus pi by 2 this is cot 2 cot 3 where is minus pi by 2 so minus pi by 2 lies between cot 2 and cot 3 how 
how minus power 2 is between cot 2 and cot 3 see just to have an idea cot 2 2 is you know pi by 2 is 1.57 or, or roughly one you can take 1.6 and pi by 4 is is, is like say 0 0.8 kind so if we add uh, or, or pi by 6 we take pi by 6 is so you can uh, see here cot 2 2 we can write as pi by 2 plus pi by 6 approximately because you know pi by 2 is 1.57 and pi by 6 is uh, it's like 3.14 divided by 6 so roughly 0.5 so together is uh, it's more than 2 but rough idea we can take this as 2 and and 3 is roughly we can take as pi as pi is 3.14 we can take it as 3 now we have to show minus pi by 2 is between cot pi and cot 2 pi by 3 now to show this we draw graph of cortex and, and we plotted this 2 pi by 3 angle this pi angle you know pi is this 2 pi by 3 is and in between we can show uh, even even uh, like 4 is 3 pi by 4 just to give you an idea so at 2 pi by 3 value is this cot 2 pi by 3 at pi it is approaches to infinity now definitely minus pi by 2 is less than this why minus pi by 2 is minus 1.57 right now you can see from the graph if 2 pi by 3 is 120 degrees angle the value corresponding value is this 3 pi by 4 135 degree angle the value we know is minus 1 so this value is less than minus 1 this cot this cot 2 you can say is less than minus 1 and, and definitely this value is below minus 1 this value is uh, sorry more than minus 1 so above on the graph it's a more than minus 1 so minus 1 lies below this value and this will further uh, this will lie further down minus 1.57 it is, is it is even less than minus 1 so that's why that, that's why we can say minus 5 by 2 will be below this but definitely it is above above uh, cot pi right so this shows that minus power 2 is between cot 3 and cot 2 so once we have proved minus power 2 is between this this and this now we can uh, if we can follow different integral approach we can bake different integral into parts from minus power 2 to cot 2 you can see here <coughs> from minus power 2 to cot 2 and cot 2 to cot 1 and cot 1 to pi by 2 right and and you can from the graph you can see between minus power 2 and cot 2 the y is 2 cot cot inverse uh, greatest integer of cot inverse is 2 1 here and 0 here so this is how we can calculate the value